Look at there. You picking up crawfish? If, I, if he was alive, I'd put me a rubber band on him and face that hook back to him. He's alive, I'd eat him. <laughs> but he ain't alive because he's already been boiled. Yeah. We had a big crawfish boil. We had a big crawfish boil here uh, Saturday night. Had about 40 people. My buddies from Louisiana. Real coon asses. Not yeah. Cajuns. You know, <laughs> everybody talks about Cajuns. Yeah. And coon asses ain't a bad word. That's, that's, that's <laughs> oh. like redneck. That's a proud word if you are one. Yeah. And they are. And they, we, we had about, we, we cooked six bulls, well, six sacks of them. We put about uh, 1,000 pounds in the lakes. And uh, y'all don't know who I'm talking here. This is Richard Jean, the fishing machine. <laughs> and I've been. Whoa! <laughs> I've been, I've been watching him on YouTube, and uh, he's got a great YouTube channel. Got, uh, you know, uh, getting up close to 200,000 people on there and a great channel. And if you're not on his channel, and I know a lot of our guy, our people are, because they've been telling me they can't wait for you and I to fish together, and that is exactly what we're going to do today. Well, I'm going to learn something. You this just... is a living legend here, folks. <laughs> no doubt. Well, I'm glad we're both still living. That's what I'm glad about. Oh. Well, we're going to go out and catch some crappie, yeah. and we're going to clean them, and we're going to eat them tonight for dinner. I'll clean them if you'll catch them. Well, listen, I'll tell you what, I'm going to help you catch them, but I will catch one or two just for the fun of it, and we'll both we'll both clean them. You okay. Both. i got to go get I, my I wanna, rod. I wanna get, get your pole. Get out here. We'll get out here. <laughs> get out. Thank you, baby. Appreciate it. Got my phone. Got to have a phone. It's on uh, camera right now, as a matter of fact. All right, I think what we're going to do, I think what we're going to do is we're going to take a tracker boat. Whoop, wrong door. Well, I'll go ahead and open it, just get a little more light in here. We're going to take, we're going to take our tracker, I believe. We've been crappie, we've been crappie fishing, we've been crappie fishing out of the ranger. This whole building smells like crappie because we've been catching and keeping a few crappie. We actually caught, we actually caught, I hate to tell you this, I took my daughter and my two grand, my granddaughter and grandson out, uh, Stormy and Lightning. They're like 11 and 13 years old and we caught <laughs> 146 fish yesterday. So if Richard and I don't catch them, Something wrong, something wrong, but I think we'll do pretty good. And we've got something we want to, to tell you about, and we'll tell you exactly what we're doing here a little bit later. But uh, it's something that happens every year that very few crappie fishermen around the country ever talk about. In fact, most crappie fishermen probably don't know, but it's a technique that allows you to catch crappie shallow out of deep water, and it only happens this special little time of the year, and it goes for... I don't know, a couple, two or three weeks that it lasts. But when you find it and you get on it, it's dynamite. We were on it yesterday afternoon. Richard and I are going to try to get on it again today. Richard, we're going to take a tracker today. We're going to. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to get some spinning rods. You got one. Well, you got a spinning rod. I've got one. Rod. one. All right. I'm going. Mm. I'm going to get these these out of here, and uh, not even worry about those. I'm going to grab some spinning rods. I'm going to grab some spinning rods out of that other boat. And uh, I think the kids are wanting to go fishing again. I ain't sure he's going to take them, so I'm going to leave them some spinning rods. Get these casting rods out of here. Woo, this is a nice boat. This is a do. You can catch anything with this one, can't you? <laughs> or out of this one. That is a Cadillac Tracker aluminum boat. It's a 195, and this one is really tricked out. I mean, this baby is tricked out deluxe. All right. All right. I'm now, I'm going to use your little crappie baits today, but I'm going to take a few of mine also. But I'm going to... Uh, well, I've got a bunch of these pre-rigged. Okay. And they're a you got them glued and everything? Glued and everything. I'm take... they're get, and I even got us some slab sauce. Some slab sauce? I've got for an attractant if you want. Of course, after you catch one, they're going to still, they're gonna smell like a crappie anyway. Your rod's kind of funny. I ain't never seen one that's broken in the middle of Well, like I just have broke it. <laughs> I, I don't really like a two-piece rod, but I got this because it was unusually wimpy. Yeah, and you I talk about ultralight. How about that little ultralight? That is fine deal That's right kinda there. That's kind of sweet, isn't it? I'm going to take that. Light as a feather. I'm gonna I take seen that. you were catching those fish in open water in around 12 to 14 feet. Or if they're still there. And that, that's the reason I brought this rod here, so I can control my bait a little bit better. Yeah, I like it. I like it. What we got right here, Roadrunner. How to get them. And uh, let's see. I'm about to run out of tackle. 
And what he's doing right now is getting everything. He's getting his crappie stuff. He's got to get his stuff sorted out right here. But I want y'all to look right here. He ain't got nothing <laughs> to fish with. Walmart ain't got nothing. <laughs> I got a few rod and reels. Compared to what Jimmy's got. And I got. got a little bit of fishing tackle. He's a mess. I love him. <laughs> Already, I want y'all to look right I here. got, I don't have, uh, I don't have tons of fishing tackle, but I got quite a bit. Oh my goodness. Lucy. Lucy. You gonna go with us? I don't want to get behind her. She might kick. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm gonna hook him. I'm gonna help him hook this up right here. Oh, that's good. Crank her down. Nothing to it. Oh, he'll be able to run behind him. Well, there ain't no one yeah. gonna tell me what to do. <laughs> she ain't done it in 35 years on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on, got a fish. Thought we never would catch one. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we never would catch one. That's a bluegill. It is a bluegill. Copper nose. I heard that you were a bluegill fisherman, Richard. <laughs> I, I just love wanted to show you that I could catch your fish. <laughs> That's a northern strain. <laughs> a northern, northern strain. Northern strain <laughs> uh, bluegill. But you got copper nose. In Pretty here. rascal. Yeah. Yes, sir. We got copper nose. There he is. There's a yeah, it's a crappie there. We're gonna keep. We're gonna keep about probably 15 or 20, and uh, that's about a pound. Not gonna keep great big ones. That's just about right to keep probably. Black crop. Yep, that's a good. Look one. at there. Look at there. <laughs> My first Oklahoma fish, folks. There you go. That one fish was worth the effort. That's worth the trip, right it there. It was worth fish. the trip. <laughs> Well, you're going to get a bonus, I guarantee you. Oh, man. Now, we're going to keep these, right? Yeah, we're going to keep the About that size is what we want. We'll get some bigger ones. We'll throw them back. Well, we can put them in the bucket. You got live wells right there. Look at we'll here. We'll probably have to get some water going in there. We'll get some water going in that live well and get it going. We Where's are going the... to. We are going to. We're going to. We're going to eat some crappie tonight. <laughs> that one thinks he's a bass fish. He does think he's a bass, doesn't he? I better tighten that up right there. He come to the top like a bass fish. See how he's hooked right here. Uh, he's in a good spot right here. Let's put him in the boat. Oh yeah, boy, they're eating that thing too. They're eating that thing. They, uh, they. And I got been... plenty of these too. You yeah, want I'm gonna, I want to use that little jig of yours. I, I want to oh, use it. Okay, I'll rig you up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this one around for a little bit. But I want to use that, and I want to use it. I got my bluegill bait on. That's a perfect size right there perfect to eat. Perfect eight size, we'll folks. Keep us about, we'll keep us about 20 or 25 of them. And and, uh, and these are black crappie, by the way. Oh, There's no are. white crappie in here. They are black crappie, and, they're, we, and we, we, will, we should catch some two-pounders. I'm going to get Jimmy a jig. You see got that? it. Let's see what he is. That's a bass. Yeah, that's a bass right there. <laughs> He's giving you a feed on that little stuff. <laughs> on his rod and reel, I tell you. Hey, He's not a giant bass, but he's not happy. Let's see what we got He's here. not happy. Oh, a yeah. Pound, a pound and a half bass. About a pound and a half. Aren't they pretty in that clear water? Look at they that. are, and they're healthy. And you see, you, see what they're, you see what they're doing there? They're, they're slurping. They're slurping up on that. That bass a little skinny there. He's kind of like me. They're slurping up on that. They're not really. It's not like they're schooling. Uh -huh. it's not like they're schooling out there. They're just. They're just slurping up on top of that. That water. Where'd they go? Scare them off? 
uh, they were right, yeah, right in there. I'm going to throw what right we'll, here. What we'll do is we'll try to find a lot of schools of those. We'll try to get around where there's, there's quite a few of those, uh -huh. quite a few of the fry around in deep water. See, this is 21 foot right here. That's a crappie. Whoa. My, 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 my. This is a perfect rod for this open water, folks. Oh, yeah. It really is. We're fishing with some awfully light equipment out here today. He's hooked right in the roof. We're He'll flip. We're going to a big bass or two on that's going to... Look at it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. Jimmy, you got some healthy fish in here. That's proper pond management. That's all That's they are exactly too. exactly right. That's a good fish. That fish is pushing 12 and an eighth. Did <laughs> I had to put that eighth in there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is that live well working now? It oh, was. Here's another one. Here's another one. That's a good fish. I was right holding there. your spot there while you were, while you were messing around there. <laughs> Holding, Put him back here. I'll unhook hold, him. Holding your spot for you. Golly. I mean, he sucked that baby down. You can sure get him loose a lot easier without that barb on there, can't you? Yeah. Perfect eating size crappie right mm -hmm. there, my friend. I, I'll be glad to fillet that one right there. Yeah. On it. Whoa. Dead blame. Thank you, Lord. Whoa. <laughs> you allowed me to live one more. Mm. One Let's more catch day. another one. <laughs> Here's a crappie right here. One of them, one of them crappie. One of those, one of those crappie gonna be in the skillet. That one right there is a good one. Gonna be in the skillet. That's <laughs> that a perfect right. size to fillet right there. That's just about just right. That'll make some beautiful fillets uh. in the live well. <laughs> Me too. Wow, he come up there and done something there. That's a good fish. I don't care where you're fishing. I was hoping, I was hoping when you get that up back there, so I'd let you unhook mine and put it in since that's what you were doing anyway. Well, I can. We can put them, <laughs> we can put them both up here. Hey, that broke my little line off. That's I got Richard in the right spot now. Right Look at there. <laughs> Those are perfect eating size crappie right there. <laughs> Those are the ones I love to eat. That's what I'm talking about. They ain't nothing like it. The sport of fishing is second to none. Let's catch another one. You know, Richard, I've always said, <laughs> I've always said that when I die, I want to be doing one of two things. Well, I don't know. It's probably a, I think it's a crappie. It's a good crappie if it's a crappie. I got one too. Both of us too, right in the exact spot. We're seeing those fish on our live scope up here. Just look panning there. around, looking at the fish on our live scope. Come on in this boat. That's a good fish right There's there. another one. Jimmy, you grow some pretty fish. I'm not kidding. That's quality right Wait there. Way to eat them. Way to eat them, Richard. Way to eat they these Oklahoma fish. <laughs> Perfecto. There's a wad of them right, right in there, ain't it? Yeah, I saw several right there. There's one. Down there about 12 foot deep, right on the edge. I think that might be a little small. Yep. Well, I don't know, he's probably about right, isn't he? I'd say he's a filet master. Yeah. Uh-oh. Crappie thinks he's a bass. <laughs> I'm going to jump out of that lake. Everybody seems to like that. I'm gonna jump That's in that a good skillet one right there. I'm just gonna open the live well right there. That was a lot better. Oh, they still ain't but around five or six feet deep, are they? That was about eight, probably. Eight. That's a pretty one. That's a perfect size right there. A little over a pound. There he is. I'll hold your spot while you're winding him in. Nah. I think he's gonna make the grade, is he? Yeah, no, let's let's see. Him, well, him. he's better than I thought he was. Yeah, they, yeah he's pretty big. He's plenty big enough. My, my, oh, my, yeah. my. I oh, tell you, old Clarence is missing it right here. Who's missing it? Clarence. Missing it? Yeah, he's missing it. Clarence, little hireling. 
He at Clarence is? Yeah. He's a good guy though, isn't he? That's 15. He's a good one. He's got a lot of hair on the end of his nose. He can't see good enough <laughs> to know it's on there. <laughs> to shave it, but <laughs> he can't help it. How much hair has he got on the end of his nose? Enough to hide three crappie? Uh, easily. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, here's one there we, he is right here's there. one we can hide right here. See, in that little corner. That's deluxe crappie fishing right here now, I'm telling you. Now these crappie here are not are not on the this. on the the deal that I was gonna really talk about is how these how these crappie and bass get under the fry. It's kind of a much overlooked crappie technique. Most crappie fishermen are looking for brush and looking for pea gravel bottoms and looking for trees if they got crappie around. But these things, when, they, when, when you have fry running around and you have it here for a couple, two or three weeks, those fish really get in there and they usually get down under, underneath those fry and there's a lot of crappie there that people don't even know that's there. They go in there and try to catch those bass around, that, around those fry and you'll catch bass around it for sure. But the crappie are eating the bass fry. Nice bass. About a three and a half pounder. Yeah, nice like. bass. Very good bass. This is a bonus right here. Where's he going anyway? <laughs> he's jumping down underneath the boat. And now he's over on the other side of the boat. Oh, that's a good fish right there. Yeah. What I'm talking about. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. Look at that guy tail walk. Come here, buggy. Come here, buggy. Oh, they're a blast on this. They're a blast on anything, but on this light stuff, they are really special. Looky there, Kokomo. Little bitty tiny jig. That fish weighs three and a half pounds, won't he? Yeah, buddy. That's a nice fish right there. That's a nice fish. Yep. Yeah. Look at there. You're giving him sugar. That's so good, I go back for more. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Put these in the bucket, and I want you to look at right, some crappie. Uh, Richard said we had 22 in there. He's counted them, and he said we had 22 crappie in there, so we're getting ready to find out. That's one. <laughs> Uh, Richard is from Alabama, so I'm not <laughs> sure. We're going to find out. We're going to learn a lot right here. That's three. That's four. Four. Uh, yeah. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. What comes next, Richard? I forgot. <laughs> nine. <laughs> nine. Good boy. He can go to nine. Don't be counting if they jump out and jump back in that live well. Oh, okay. Eleven. Eleven. Oh, there's one got out. Twelve. Uh -oh, Twelve. I'm gonna count that again. Thirteen. <laughs> no. Thirteen. There's thirteen. Now Richard counted twenty-two in the live well, so. Fourteen. Fourteen. Now he's from Alabama. We're gonna find out exactly how this works. Uh huh. Fifteen. Sixteen. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Seventeen. We kept these at jumping out. <laughs> 18. Golly, they're jumping out of there. 19. Should be three more. Uh, I believe I see it. Ah! Here. <laughs> un 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 unplug that drain plug here. Okay. Golly. <laughs> Golly they're jumping out everywhere. No, oh, settle down. Settle down. Settle down a little bit. Is it right here beside right, this divider? Right in the middle there. Stay, stay. They don't mind very well. You oh. count as many as I put back in the bucket. Yeah, I get it right there. I'll now hear it, I hear it draining. Is that turned off? That pump? No, we got to turn it on. Turned it off. Okay. I just turned it off. Okay. Did you? Okay. Just, That's why it started draining. Did you just leave that loose in there, or just? Uh, yeah, yeah. I just leave wait. it laying in there. I'm gonna pull the drain plug and let that drain. How many we have? 19? Well, Jimmy, we just... 19. Well, you... Nah, I don't know. You might... Well... 
Nineteen. Oh, I bet that's more than we can eat. What do you want to bet? Oh, yeah. I bet that's more than we can eat. Me see pretty good, them. Pretty good bag of coffee right there. Yeah, it is. I'll go get my, boy, I tell you, look at how much dust we got on that boat. We needed and a, it was This morning it was perfect clean, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, here's the deal. I'm going to run this part. I got my Bubba knife. Now, I did a catch and clean and cook video <clears throat> back last November, and I caught all kinds of flack from everybody about my fillet knife, which is a piece of junk. It would not fillet one side of one crappie, so I ended up getting just my regular old fillet knife, a hand fillet knife, an old-fashioned one like you use. Uh huh. Yeah, like that, and filleted all of them by hand. But I took so much beef from that <laughs> that I went and got a bubba knife. I mean a bubba knife. Now look at that baby. Don't even don't even get close to me with a bubba knife. So you're saying this, you got sick and tired of getting sick and tired. Right? I got sick and tired of getting sick and tired and I have a bubba knife. So let me tell you, now, now you cut through you cut through the rib cage too, don't you? I do. Here you here's what you do. You go down through right there with your bubba knife. Right. I take I take and make a little cut right there because that's a good big chunk of meat right there, and cut down. And now I'm cutting right through the rib cage. Now a lot of people cut around that rib cage. Mm -hmm. Cut right through the rib cage. Cut that right there. Exactly now you got that part still to cut out. That's the way you do it though. Isn't that's it? exactly. That way, way then you make that little cut there. You, so you save get that. a lot of meat right there. Yeah, right there is a good cut. And you can do that with your electric knife too. But obviously, it's, you know, I yeah. better do it that. And, and then just, what we do, what, what we do is we got our water in our sink over here. Uh -huh. My buddy Larry Sissel fixed me up this granite table. My old table was worn out. And I just come in here to angle and get all that meat. If you don't, you'll waste it. A lot of people will waste that whole, that's a whole bite, folks. Yeah, that, 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 that's, that's a whole bite, you're it's right. A whole bite. And then come in here at angle under the rib cage. The knife just rips right through them. Just like that at angle. And they won't be any bones, but it, it pays to check and make sure. You don't want nobody to get a bone. Now, now Chris, when she Chris Just when like she, that. she cooks them, she's gonna cut that in. She's gonna cut that into three or four pieces. Mm -hmm. And we do that sometimes. We're cleaning them. We'll go ahead and cut them. But usually she cuts them. She likes the size that she likes. Uh -huh. But now, if you'll take and just throw those in the water, what we're gonna do? By the time we get through cleaning, and we'll take and run the hose in there. Uh -huh. We'll run the hose in there and run some more water on them. See how quick it goes through that? See there? Yes. And uh, run some more water in there. And those, these are going to be really pretty and white. They're not going to have any, all the blood's going to, while we're cleaning, while we're cleaning, actually all the blood's going to go out. Mm -hmm. And actually what we're going to end up doing, what we're going to end up doing, we're going to eat these tonight. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to do the last, we're going to get started on this catch, clean, and cook. This is the best part of all, the cook part. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, Richard, I forgot. I gotta put my shades on. I'm sorry about that. Oh, I, I didn't mine. mean to scare you. Go to... Get <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna get his shades. All right, Chris, we got her going now. We, we, uh, we got it, we have it going. We, this is my little Chinese wife, we. <laughs> my little Asian wife right here, we. Here's one of the critical things, I think, honestly, in cooking fish is to cut them in small pieces. Don't you agree, babe? Well, it just depends on what your preference is. We like ours crispy, so that makes it easier to cook. And I went ahead and prepared most of it because I knew you would be late. You knew we would be late. It was Richard's fault. He wanted to see some milk. And, of course, that's typically about the size of most fillets Crappie that you Crappie fillets, uh-huh. This and got the belly meat in there. That's a good bite right that, there. That, this one is pretty clean, so you don't really have to trim it off. I just kind of cut them up in pieces. Mostly when I flame them, they're really clean, aren't they? Well, <laughs> I found a few like that. Uh, I don't know what happened there. That was Richard's fault. Richard was supposed to be oh. cutting that deal off right there. Well, I thought that was supposed to come off with a oh, fillet knife. It is, it is supposed to come off with a fillet knife, but sometimes when you're really fast and in a hurry, you leave that on, and the guy that cuts the belly part is supposed to finish that off for you. Well, huh? Huh? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. You look good wearing your glasses at night, by the way. <laughs> well, for sure. I am pretty ugly. <laughs> no, you look good. When you're naturally cool, the sun shines on you all right. the time. One thing for sure, you don't want to leave it on there to cook it. So, pretty hot. Now, we have a lot of fish there. That is only. Richard counted 22 in the boat, but he's out of, <laughs> as Alabama count, as Alabama count, and we counted Oklahoma count, it turned to be ni 19, 19. He never forgets. 
You roll them into flour, and all that is just cornmeal right there. It's just you, cornmeal and You can salt. roll them in flour, really, too, if you'd rather do flour. Uh, no, you don't want to do flour. You can. Well, you can. You can roll them in anything. Not nearly as good. <laughs> and roll you them can in the add if you want any to. kind of spice, you know, if you want a spicy hot, you can add hot. But I like mine just in salty cornmeal. And I cook pretty simple. And I just... When she says it. salty cornmeal, she means salty. Well, well, this isn't too salty. Sometimes See, I can do this part. You want to try? No, no, you're pretty fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying I could do that part. It's so easy, even you could do it. It's so easy, even I can do it. Yeah, of course, you gotta have some, gotta have some onions. This is cocktail sauce. Okay, we got a batch almost ready over here. This is cocktail sauce with hey, horseradish. Yeah, you now, yeah, not now. Keep your fingers out there. Okay, that's just that quick. That's how fast. They're, they're ready to go. Now look they, at here. They float and they're brand. When they float, they're in business. This is the prime deal look right here. That. You see it? How it makes it a little bit crisp. Well, just a couple of bites. Can I have a one? Thank you, sir. Can I? I'm gonna try this sauce. Try one. Can I just like dip, dip, it, dip it right down the sauce? Yeah. Okay. That's delicious. You'd rather have tartar sauce or not? Because you can try both. Same thing. I'm talking about that's good though. That ain't. Well, yeah, it's good. It's just like shrimp. You know. Y'all gonna share that? <laughs> Are we gonna what? Share it. Share it. You gonna share that? Do I have to eat this tartar sauce now? <laughs> this is especially made for Richard Gene, the pizza machine. <laughs> that's good, folks. That's real good. I believe that's the way I'm going to eat This mine. is especially made for Jimmy. I've never tried that before. <laughs> you you don't love it. the red sauce with this? Never have tried it. I'm going to tell you. Well, you're going to enjoy it. It's you're just ketchup it. and horseradish. Yeah. That's all it is. Ketchup and horseradish. And however hot you want it, you just add more horseradish. Keep adding more horseradish. That's perfect. Even I can make that. Yeah. Now he does. Of course, even you can make that. <laughs> I think I'll make some tartar sauce, okay? <laughs> oh, my it looks good. I ain't kidding. Simple, easy deal. Straight to the point. And you see here, you see here something else that you probably didn't realize. I eat a lot of carrots. That's why my eyes are so good. I got 20 20 in one eye, 20 15 in the other, which is not worse than 20 20. It's better than 20 20. I eat a lot of carrots. You go through a bag, we go through a bag of carrots like almost every day. Yeah. Of course, Lucy and Milburn eats 99% of them, but. I do share, I, I do, or they do share their grapes with me. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. This is the way we do it. This is the way the rednecks do it, for sure, right here in Oklahoma. We got it just set in the pot that it come in. Chris said that the, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the potatoes, she said she's got to let them sit there so long waiting on us to get in. They got a little greasy. But I'm going to tell you. I like them that way. I like them that I way, do. too. Greasy potatoes is good and good for you, I'm sure. Got the mac and cheese in the pot. We got the salad, and obviously we got grape fish and a little dessert. Those watermelons come Some out of our garden. Berry Switzer onions. Do what? Berry Switzer's red onions. And Berry Switzer, Coach Berry Switzer's red onions right there. He said you can't eat fish without red onions. So we got it right there. This will be the end of our catch, cook, and catch, cook, and clean, catch, clean, and cook video. Damn. I can't even say it right. We're going to bless this food here in just a second and get down to eating it because we've been all day doing this. We caught 61 fish today, and there's the best part of all we caught today. A lot of them still swimming. Hey, remember, Richard Gene, the fishing machine. If you're not subscribed to his channel already, he's getting close to 200,000. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you subscribe. This guy is... Well, he's a nut. What can I say? I mean, he fell right off a tree. <laughs> See, That's right. They, the squirrels chased him around all day today. <laughs> they did, I swear. Be sure to subscribe oh, to his channel. Great guy. Great guy. Even though, roll tide. Boober, sir. I hope we play y'all this year the final game. I the brought final you. Game. Huh? I knew Alabama. You want to go get it? Uh, no, that's all right. Let's bless the food. Oh, okay. Hey, guys and girls, I love you.